Good morning, people watching in 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone, period. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. It is grace, not, like I said, not of ourselves. The Bible says that. Once you accept Christ as Savior, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit leads you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will lead you in all righteousness. The Holy Spirit changes you. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but you're sealed. The Holy Spirit seals you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation, period. I got to share this article with you. Sorry I'm coming on late. Um, my husband had a doctor's appointment this morning. He's fine. Um, shortages are going to get worse later this year as global supply chains increasingly falter. It's starting to happen now. I noticed that myself. These shortages are going to get worse. And God only knows what's going to happen after this uh, Taliban deadline happens. Who knows? Um, but this is off of Michael Schneider. Uh, it says, have you noticed that it's a lot harder to get certain things? Yep. Just recently, someone in my local area was surprised when her appointment to get a windshield on her car to get it fixed was canceled because it wasn't possible to get a replacement windshield. Things are, this is not just food. I'm talking everyday items. They're getting hard to get. This was the windshield for a very common vehicle, and normally that wouldn't be a problem at all, but these are not normal times. Thanks to Sleepy Joe, these are not normal times. It says, thanks to several factors that I will in detail in this article. I'm going to link this article in the description box. It says, global supply chains are now under more strain than we have ever seen in post-World War II. Era, and unfortunately, it appears that things are even are going to get even worse, especially the holiday season. It says I know most of you probably don't want to hear this, that the shortages we are experiencing now are going to get worse. So you may be tempted to stop reading this article because you don't want to see the bad news. Well, get used to it. <laughs> but, it's an imp but it is imperative that you understand what's ahead. Take a look at one step right now. Right now, local news outlets all over the country are doing stories about shortages in their local areas. And like I said, this is not just food. Here's one example. Have you recently gone to the grocery store and found some of the shelves empty? If so, you're not alone. Many people can't find their essential items since the pandemic started. As this article points out, the stores are trying to order products they need. They just can't get them. This is happening across the United States, across this nation. And like I said, it's going to get a lot worse. And as a result, the inventory to sales ratio for U.S. retailers has been pushed to the lowest level on record. In April, May, and June, the inventory sales ratio of around 1.08 or about 33 days supply was at its lowest point in the data going back to 1992. In the years before the pandemic, the overall ratio was about 1.5 providing 45 days of supply. So why is all of this happening? The truth is there are several 
contributing factors, and one of them is the fear of this pandemic, period. Period. I'm going to link this article in the description box. I have an appointment myself, so I can't stay on here long. Folks, it's a beautiful day out here today. And it's a good day for the rapture, if it so be. What we're seeing right now is just the beginning of what's to come. Now, like I said last night in that uh, thing about ISIS... We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. And if we did, we'd probably faint from fear. But within the next couple of weeks, I am willing to almost guarantee it's going to be chaos. I say within the next few weeks. I'm not, I'm not seeing things get better. I'm seeing things get far worse. This administration wants to do one thing, and that's make you forget about what's happening over in uh, Afghan right now. That's what they want you to do. They want people to forget about it. But the fact of the matter is, you can't forget about it, and it's just the beginning of what's to come. Now, Sleepy Joe has some kind of meeting with Israel to continue to give the Palestinians part of Israel. In other words, splitting Jerusalem. So we shall see what happens with that. Definitely. Two-state solution. And we're going to see what happens with that. Right now, the earthquakes are at a... are railing... And right now, everything is happening. I will say this again. My advice to you, if you're not saved, is to get saved. Real fast. It's not something to think about. It's something to do. And it's quite simple. Admit you're a sinner in need of a savior. And there's only one, and that's Jesus Christ. And believe in him and confess to him. Not confess. Call out to him. That's what you do. He already knows what you've done. He knows what you've done. He wants you to believe that he already took care of what you've done. It's, it's not rocket. It's very simple. He wants you to believe in him because he already took care of what you've already done at the cross. By shedding his blood for your sins. And that's what he's done. You make him your savior. And that's how you're saved from what's about to come upon this earth. People are walking around today thinking that everything is going to be fine. I have a teenage son who's thinking that. And he's a teenager. And he will probably go in the rapture kicking and screaming. Especially the fact that he has to leave his car. People are walking around thinking that nothing can happen. I guarantee you that a lot of people, even though they've heard of what happened in Afghanistan, they don't know the extent of it. And they don't know what it's going to bring about. Because people are walking around, they don't have a clue as to God, the rapture, or anything. People are walking around like it's okay, it's normal. Normal went out the door a long time ago, and they're about to come to... These people, these very people, are going to go crazy when the tribulation happens. They're going to go out of their mind. Because they will never have thought that it would get that bad. What we're looking at now is a picnic compared to what's coming. And like I said before and like I say again, the Holy Spirit is restraining. 
The Holy Spirit is keeping us here and restraining, holding back the evil that's about to be unleashed on this nation. Because once the church is gone, it's going to go just like that. And it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of crying people on this earth. And that's what's coming. You can avoid that if you're not saved by getting saved and accepting Christ as Savior. It's simple as that because I'm telling you, we're on the very cusp of the rapture. And this nation is on the very cusp of the tribulation. You can see it now. There is things happening I cannot say on this channel. But I am going to put it on my blog. Matter of fact, some of it is on the blog and some of it you won't believe. But I believe it. And it's no surprise to me. Because I knew it was going to happen. And you can read about it on my blog. Um, I got some stuff about Emmanuel Macron and about Canada and about COVID. The whole nine yards. It's on there. And about passports. I will be back later. If anything else comes up in between this time. Um, I will be sure to let you know. But in the meantime. Keep looking up. Um, this is a serious time we're in. Because like I said. They, um, Afghan is not planned. Taliban is not planned. ISIS is not planned. We don't know what consequences they're talking about, whether it's over there or whether it's all over this nation. I beg to think that it's all over this nation that they're talking about their red line or consequences are going to come about. But I will be back later with the next video. Thank you.